Hey guys, my name's Phil and I'm an outreach instructor with the Freshwater Fishery Society of BC. So when you go fishing, you need to know what type of fish live there and how to identify them. This way you can follow the regulations, which tell you what type of fish you're allowed to keep and which type of fish you can't. And it's also good to know which fish taste good and which fish don't taste good. Because when you go fishing, you don't want to take home a fish that you're not going to eat later because that's disrespectful to the fish by wasting it and it's illegal in British Columbia. Now let's see if I can catch a fish here and show you guys how to identify them. Oh, there's a good one. There's a good one. There's a good fish. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh my gosh. Look at that beautiful rainbow trout. What a nice fish. First thing we're going to do here is just take the hook out. Perfect, that came out nice and easy. Now the way I can tell this is a rainbow trout is a number of ways. First and most obvious is the pink stripe that goes from the tail to the head against the chrome body. That is the most obvious sign that it's a rainbow trout. This one also shows nicely the dark spots that are concentrated on the top of the body and there's not as many down near the belly. That's a very telltale sign of a rainbow trout. Now this fish isn't actually a good example of it but most rainbow trout have small mouths compared to the size of their bodies. Because this is a big fish, it has a bit of a bigger mouth, but normally they have small mouths because they mostly feed on insects, while fish with larger mouths tend to feed on other fish. Now, while keeping this fish in the water, I'm just gonna take a quick picture, take it out of the net, and then we're gonna let it go home. What a gorgeous fish.